hello guys um welcome to another video section and um, in this video there is an aspect of statistics that actually interests me and i think it's very important that students taking statistics are taught this aspect now i'm going to be talking about the stem and leaf plot now this very plot is very very important and is very useful and i noticed that students this aspect is actually left out when students are taught something around um, descriptive statistics lecturers or teachers only just go to um, measures of central tendency measures of dispersion um, frequency distribution uh, frequency distribution and um, others so now i'm going to tell you about the stem and leaf plot now the stem and leaf plot is very important and it actually gives us the exact picture of the data yes so you can see how this is very important so before you do your mean media mode variance standard deviation you can actually know how this data looks like before you go ahead to do all this um, estimate or perform all this estimate now another information that the stem and leaf plot gives or provides is actually um, the distribution of the data the symmetry the concentration of your data and it provides all information on outliers yes it actually provides information on outliers so so let me show you how to construct the stem and leaf plot so we have a question here we have um, distances in kilometers from home to local supermarket and you have so the question is create a stem plot using the data so yeah, this is data you have 12.3 1.5 6.7 5.5 now there's another question below it says do the data seem to have any concentration of values so in this um, particular data set i'm actually looking at the concentration i want to know through the stem and leaf plot so the first thing to do is we need to rearrange the data given to us we arrange from the lowest to the highest okay so we've, we've actually rearranged the data and to construct the stem and leaf plot now before i move further the stem is actually the first the numbers or the figures before the decimal point you can see that all these numbers all the all the data are actually in decimal point so the figures before the decimal point they are the stem why the figures after decimal point we call them the leaf so i'm going to create a table okay so let me create this table So I'm going so I'm going to call this the stem then this will be the leaf okay so the first value here is one the stem then you have so we're going to look we have one 1 1.1 so the leaf will be one do you get do you like do you understand figures before the decimal point are the stem why figures after the uh, the decimal point is what we call the leaf so the next one you have another one we have 1.5 so you have one already here then you put you put your space then you put five okay do you understand so it means this figure one this fourth stem is having the concentration of two observations one and five do we understand so we're going to go to the next one we have two then we have 2.3 first we have three then the next figure that follows is 2.5 so we have five you put your space the next one we have 2.7 we have a seven so we are done with two now we go on three points we have a three then we have a two we have 3.3 
you have another three point three then we have three point five we have three point eight okay so we have four we have zero we have two we have five we have five seven eight okay there's no nine there so we have eight all right so we have um what next we have five we have five so five is the only um figure there okay we have six too then we move we move to six so we have six we have five we have seven then you have there's nothing on seven we have no data on seven point no data on eight point so the next data will be on 12 no data on 9 10 we have 11 then we have 12 so the 12 the data in the 12 is 12.3 12 so we have 3 here okay so looking at so let me interpret this um the stem and leaf table let me just align this to the center all right okay so now looking at the observations we have we we, we can say that um there's a concentration of observations around four so more observations are around four we have four 4.0 4.2 and 200 and so forth so we can say um the four is the mode can you see another information that the, the, uh, the stem and leaf also provides it provides the mode of the data so you know which what is the highest concentration among all the data sets the figures so we have the outlier yes there is one outlier in this data set we have 12.3 you can see from 12 point from 6 point there's nothing there's no observations on 7 8 9 10 11 then we come to 12 so 12.3 12 seems like an outlier in this data because it's actually more far away from the other figures now let me cite another example for example if you have um if you have um a data set let's say you have 1000 or let me say 151 now what is your stem and what is your leaf okay so your stem here is 15 your stem here will be 15 why your leaf will be one do you get it all right now another example let's say we have um 2000 or 20,000 now what will be your stem and what will be your leaf the stem is 2000 why the leaf will be zero so if you have all numbers it means the last figure in your in that particular number is our leaf why the other numbers they're your stem so thank you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and um, i'm very sure that this video will be very useful to students taking courses in statistics beginning um, introductory courses in statistics it will help them to uh, fully understand the data and um, give them the description about the data how the data looks 
before they calculate their mean median mode thank you guys make sure you subscribe to my channel to watch other videos bye